Today we're taking a break from The Sims 4 for rent speed builds and apartment builds and things like that and doing something a little different. We're mixing it up and building a community lot today. Um, this is a park that is also going to be my holiday or festive build for this year. Um, I tried to do a cozy cottage, a cozy house, all decorated for Christmas or the holidays or Winterfest as Sims celebrate it, but I just couldn't do it to save my life. So we are building a park on the 64 by 64 lot in San Mishuno. And actually, I didn't even know this lot existed. Like it's tucked away in the corner away from all the other lots. I didn't even know this was here. Like I didn't know San Mishuno had a park. I do have to say that we uh, do put in a pond. It's a shame that Sims cannot um, ice skate on the ponds. Like they will freeze over, ponds will, but Sims can't use them. I think like, I want to remember, maybe it was in The Sims 2 or The Sims 3 or both. Sims could actually ice skate on the frozen water, um, which kind of act like an ice rink. But in this version of The Sims, we cannot do that. But it still is pretty nonetheless. I'm also not very good with terrain manipulation tools or the pond tool for that matter. So the shape of the pond is a little weird, um, but I think it turns out really nice in the end. It actually looks like a pond. So I'm super proud of how that turned out, uh, despite the fact that I'm terrible at the terrain tools and pond tool. Um, so the original park here had this like house on it, which was just so strange to me. And there wasn't really much to do on this lot. Like there were no like skill building things or anything like that. Like the lot really just had like a, a wedding venue and this weird house and it was very like spaced out. So we're building a uh, communal building and this will house toilets, um, a sink, there's gonna be a fireplace, a Christmas tree that your Sims can decorate. Um, and then there's just like tables just to kind of hang out. And then the second level that's open here um, will become a bar. And then there will be games tables, which is from the Growing Together expansion pack. So your Sims can play games. So that's one of the many activities here. Um, the other activity you may have seen me place just a little bit ago was the ice skating rink. So yes, that's a thing. There's also this hot coffee slash tea um, stall. So when you actually visit the lot, there isn't anybody working that stall, but you can hire a vendor uh, for 100 simoleons. The same thing with the bartender. There isn't anybody working the bar, but again, you can hire uh, a bartender to tend the bar uh, or the stall. So I was actually looking for hot chocolate or hoping there was hot chocolate. Maybe I missed that stall, but this stall only served up like teas and coffee, which I thought, okay, that works, I guess. But um, I swore there was a hot chocolate one. If there is a hot chocolate stall, please do let me know. But again, you can also just swap that out. So decorating the inside of this building was actually quite fun. Um, I know I struggled doing like cozy cottages or ranches or houses or whatever, but in here, I really made it cozy. Like, I don't know where this was when I was attempting to do my cozy house build, but um, it definitely came when I was building this lot. So um, I found these like really pretty, they're actually, it says door curtains, um, but they're, uh, they fit over the windows like perfectly and they look really great. Like I love the star and the little bow and it's, it's much like cleaner and neater than like the garland that I was originally gonna use. Um, I don't know, the garland just feels a little, a lot um, compared to, I mean, we do, we, we do use garland. We do put it around the edges of the building and stuff, but like the garland curtains is what I'm talking about. They, they look a little bit <laughs> too much. So these I think were a nice compromise, but um, I do put gift piles around here. I'm pretty sure these are just decorative. Uh, gift piles, but I thought that was still nice to have that way. Um, it's kind of multi-purpose because if you wanted to take this venue and make it a place to hold a wedding, which there will be a spot for a wedding, so you could actually use this as like your place to, um, you know, host your wedding party. Um, you could just swap the color swatches on the gifts and make them like wedding gifts um, to the non like holiday themed ones. And you can get rid of like the Christmas tree and stuff like, you know, all the other holiday related items to turn this into a wedding venue. But still, 
um, just for the purpose of the holidays, we do kind of deck it out all nice and cool. So I'm using move objects to place the garland against the windows, but also the little snowflake lights. And the same thing with the reeds out here. Move objects was my friend in this build. Um, and I didn't notice anything disappearing too while I was building. So that's great. Um, <laughs> cause sometimes that happens. Like you'll be building along and then you'll be placing stuff and you'll have move objects on, but like you'll come around to a different area that you know you completed already and like stuff's missing and it's like what the heck like where'd it go uh so you have to replace it again but also you cannot use the like attic decorations on community lots you have to own the lot and i wasn't going through the trouble of that it was already trouble enough to build in the snow which we do actually swap about halfway through this video um and i get rid of the snow to finish off the build because you cannot see anything under the snow. So I wanted to make sure like foot pads and everything, uh, terrain paints, what have you, like all looked good. So this build, you know, looks okay without the snow, but I mean, it really does shine in the snow, especially at night. Like I think this is built for the snow, but again, I wanted to make it look decent when there isn't any snow or at least semi-decent. Um, so, I mean, it was hard because like the bushes and the trees being winter in the game were all dead. So I really had no idea what it was going to look like, you know, non winter. I guess I could have changed the season too, since I was already changing the weather, but I did not do that, but it's okay. It's fine. I'm sure it'll look great. If it doesn't just make it snow, uh, using the weather station thing that came with seasons, you can actually... Um, change the weather if you have seasons. Um, but just be careful with that because your Sims can also like die from doing that. Um, and it can also go wrong and malfunction. And that's where like the lightning comes in, but also it could make like the weather completely different. Like for example, the one time I was changing it to snow to build here and it malfunctioned and it was just dark and like pouring buckets. And I'm like, yeah, this isn't going to work. So I tried it again. And then finally it snowed and I just let it snow for a little while to build up. So this area here that we're building is a outdoor stage. I thought I would put like musical instruments, uh, the microphone and some different like cool things to do. Like there's karaoke out there. So you could have like a little concert. Uh, it's basically meant to be like an outdoor pavilion space kind of thing. We have the ice skating rink over there off to the side and there's the outdoor coffee tea stall and here we are now out of the snow so you can see this is where i've pretty much finished the build off that way i could actually see what i was doing how i was placing things and just like when it came to like terrain painting and stuff especially this wedding arch over here i mean it isn't like the best location i have to say this lot is just very weird like why did they why didn't they just make this lot like flat like they built it up and had like these walls and um like this like gate and stuff around it but like i don't know like this all around this lot was all flat so i don't know why they couldn't just give us like a flat park i mean it is a flat park essentially but it's built up around like these weird non-editable walkways and stuff leading into the park so i don't know but it's all right it's fine it's just I didn't really like how those looked with everything else, but it looks nice in the snow. So when you cover it up and stuff, but now we're building a gazebo, which I thought was a nice staple to have almost in the center of the park. And the idea here too, the giant Christmas tree is just sized up using the bracket keys on the keyboard. But if you wanted to like undecorate this for winter fest or the holidays, you could just take the giant Christmas tree out and put a fountain in the same place. Kind of works. I didn't do that because I wanted the tree to be the focal point because it's supposed to be a holiday lot, but you could easily put in a fountain and it could be just as pretty here too. Uh, but a gazebo is definitely something that I feel is a pretty good thing to have in the park, especially overlooking the pond. It's just, it's just nice to have that. And it gives your Sims another thing to do. They can go up, sit there. It's good for photo opportunities, storytelling. Now I'm just filling the big body of water or the pond with uh, pond things. So we do some of the visual effects, which are like, um, well, there's ducks and swans, there's fish. Um, and then I put around the like outside and different parts of the lot. I do put like some fireflies and stuff. So they will come out at night, but I don't believe they do in the 
cold when it's winter time because I didn't see them in the night screenshots uh, when it was cold out. And you cannot fish in the extreme cold, apparently, because I wanted to make sure that it actually worked. Um, but it doesn't let you when it's snowing or super duper cold. But it was going to let me fish if it wasn't, I guess, because I was able to click on the water and actually fish. So that's cool. Uh, but yeah, I did put swans in there and um, ducks. But again, I don't don't recall seeing those in the cold. So they might just come out when it's warmer weather, but still pretty cool nonetheless. Um, and this is the upper level here where we have the games table and the bar. Um, again, the bar is not staffed, but you can hire a vendor to staff it. Uh, you have to spend some simoleons. Also, I put in um, the horseshoes and a fire pit from um, the outdoor retreat pack. Just another activity that your Sims can do on this lot. And I just think it's great. The more, the better. Although I just realized, I think I forgot a railing in between the staircase and um, like that little patch there up where you get to the upper level outside there, the staircase. Yeah, I forgot to put a railing there. <laughs> Hopefully your sims don't fall down. Um, but yeah, this build is available on the gallery. Here's the gallery listing. Um, I only use 10 packs. And it's a 64 by 64 lot, and it's 121,000 simoleons. So it's it's not it's a wide variety of packs, but not that many. Um, I mean, a, some of the big staples were like Horse Ranch, um, Growing Together, um, The Wedding Stories, uh, Romantic Garden, which is actually currently free until January 9th, 2024. So make sure you go redeem that on the EA app. Um, because you get romantic garden stuff for free, which includes some really nice items for a romantic garden, including this wishing well, uh, which is functional. Your Sims can actually make a wish in it. I kind of tuck that off the one side closer to the building. But yeah, that's part of romantic garden. So make sure to go redeem that. Uh, also, all of the other packs for the Sims are also on sale. I think it's up to like 60 to 70% off some of the packs. So, I mean, they're not all marked the same. Um, but you know, uh, it's still a great holiday sale to get some of those packs for cheaper that, um, you might be missing or you've kind of wanted, uh, and you got some extra Christmas money or something like go for it, <laughs> you know, like get some of those extra packs, especially for rent. I think I would recommend for rent the most, um, because that really changes your gameplay and just how the game functions overall. Uh, with like, you know, having multiple Sims on the same lot and housing and stuff. But I don't know that that one's on sale yet. That kind of just came out. So I don't know that they mark that one down as much as like some of the older ones like University, uh, Discover University or anything like that. Uh, we do play some light up snowmans around and um, your Sims can actually make them in the snow. So that's pretty cool. You can also do snow angels. I want to say you might be able to have a snowball fight. If not, there definitely should be a thing, but uh, we're now placing some landscaping around, which again was like incredibly hard because everything is dead. Like it's just dead and gross. So it was hard to know what this is actually going to look like in like beautiful weather. But we do place some rocks around um, and I thought this looks really nice. And I do make this one little area over here where I was originally going to place those rocks, but we decide not to. But um, it's a nice little like picnic-y camping area. I put a grill there and it's just like a very secluded spot under the trees. Perfect for a date uh, if your sims go here on a date or anything. But like the whole park is like perfect for that. You can walk around. There's so much for your sims to do here. So it's it's very cool. But yeah, like the bushes are all dead. Like these are supposed to be green and flowering, but you know, it's just winter. So it's okay. It'll probably look all right <laughs> in other seasons. At least I hope. But if not, oh well. Then like I said, just make it snowy and winter and it'll look beautiful especially when we get to the screenshots like at night it's just like something else like with the glow of all the lights and then the snow because the snow is back um I don't know it just looks so great I'm just super happy with how it turned out it's a very like playable lot and what's great too is like you can kind of live here I mean I didn't put like a shower or anything like for your sims to bathe or satisfy their hygiene need. but the sim that i was using to change the weather and stuff who was like visiting here um he kind of lived here for like 
two sim days while it snowed enough for the snow to build up but also like i had him sleep on the couch in the in the like inside and then he had like a toilet and then he would go out and grill food so i mean it worked he just you know couldn't i did cheat his hygiene need um so yeah but like yeah you i mean you can't live here but you kind of can at least it's a place you can go to get at least some of the things satisfied including some of the skills like ice skating uh satisfies the fitness skill i guess another cool thing that you could probably do is um if you know you wanted to utilize this lot in like a non wintery or winter fest scenario, you could swap the ice skating rink for a roller skating rink. That's also a thing with seasons. Um, so you could easily do that. The area is there. I use the deluxe version, I guess it's larger or something. So, and I do know there was a deluxe like roller skating rink. So, um, you could easily plop that in this, probably the same footprint in the same area. And I did terrain paint underneath so you'd know where it kind of goes. Um, not like entirely underneath. I'm pretty sure there's probably a hole because I didn't lift it up. But like I'm just painting now kind of around it uh, to create like paths that your Sims would like walk around or under and kind of connect into some of the other areas. So that was pretty fun. I just did gravel because I feel like that tied in with this like flagstone quite a bit. I also did like the stone around the edges of this flagstone stone, uh, which I thought was kind of nice rather than doing like a dirt or something. Um, it just kind of makes it feel like, like, I don't know, like there's stone up on the edges. And I do tie into some of the other pads that the park kind of connects to. Um, and I put some flowers down in the grass because the grass is kind of looking a little like dark and sad, but again, it's winter. So everything's dead, <laughs> including these bushes over here. Like that's supposed to be bushes, but they're just twigs. But again, you know, it's winter, but I still made it look as pretty as I possibly could, uh, given these circumstances. Um, so we're just kind of terrain painting around the edges of the pond to give it that like muddy pond look and just a little bit around this part of the building here. And um, yeah, I'm just kind of assessing the situation, seeing where we go next. And now I'm placing picnic benches. And this is the cute little camping area that we come back to later. And there's another one on the other side by the gazebo, uh, kind of tucked away. Um, and I do put in a grill as well. So you're, there's two grills on the lot. There's trash cans all over too, kind of close and nearby. So that's not too bad. We're just kind of lighting up, placing lights around. Um, the whole perimeter in like different spots to kind of light the way and light the paths, which actually I think kind of helps at night, especially. I do put these like lighted like bags. Um, they came with like the holiday pack, they're free. Um, and you just kind of change the colors on them. But yeah, like I put them on the uh, picnic tables just to kind of give even more like warm, cozy light. So just kind of finishing up the terrain painting because I forgot this bit over here. I was like, oops. <laughs> so yeah, I just kind of finished that and put a little bit around there. And yeah, we are almost finished. So this was like, I don't know. I definitely have to say it was fun. It was definitely fun to do. And it's called Holiday Park. Holiday Park 2023 is what I actually called it on the Sims 4 Gallery. So again, you can find that already there. My EAID is just the Simified. So here it is in the beautiful snow. You can see the fire pit going there. Um, there's a sim skating in the ice skating rink. This is the part where I didn't hire the vendor. But look at that. That's like beautiful. This is like my favorite shot. It's just so pretty. Um, and it's just such a nice little like community building. Um and it just looks nice with all the buildings in the back. But this is that cozy room where the tree, you can decorate, um, you can play the piano, just kind of hang out, have some fun. There's the bar upstairs. You can get bar food if it's staffed uh, or any kind of other drinks. So you can get food. You can also grill. I mean, you know, Sims will probably just grill hot dogs, unfortunately. But yeah. So these are the games tables as well. Those came with growing together. So you can play games up here. Uh, we have some small Christmas trees. And then this is the outdoor stage where your Sims can play the instruments or do karaoke. This is the ice skating rink. So your Sims can have some fun there and build the fitness skill. This is just another view of the pond. This is the wedding area. So it doesn't look that great in the like snow, but it's still a nice little like corner. I think it would make a great spot. There's the wishing well as well. 
Uh, oh, as well. That's funny. I didn't mean to do that, but it just happened. Um, but yeah, at night you can see it's just absolutely beautiful. Just a beautiful place to be, especially with the snow and just how everything kind of like glows and like that is just beautiful through the doors out there. This that was looking at the bar. The only problem is, is the giant Christmas tree doesn't actually light up. I did turn it on, but I guess the lighting aspect doesn't really light up, but I think that would have looked nice if it did, but that probably just because the tree is sized up. But anyway, I do hope you enjoyed this speed build. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Leave a comment below. Let me know what you think. And I do thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next video.